work quietly and follow along. At any point, click the pause button to catch up or take a break. Hello, today we're gonna to be making pancakes with syrup, um, eggs, and bacon using a collage method. If you want, I'm making a plate for mine so I have a place to put all my food when I'm done. All you need is a piece of blue paper, cut out a big circle. But before you start cutting, you, I would strongly suggest you draw that circle so you can be sure it's as round as possible. Here is my plate. We are gonna decorate the plate. I'm gonna start with a pencil, that way I can always erase. For the purpose of the video so you can see it nice and clearly, I'm going to be using a pen. For my plate, I'm gonna add some really cool characteristics. I'm just doing some squiggles around the edge. This just makes the plate look a little bit more real. You don't have to do squiggles, you can do your own design. Just for fun, I'm going to trace over my lines with a blue marker. This will make it pop a little bit better. Okay, now that I have my plate design, let's start building our food. I'm gonna put my plate aside, and we're gonna begin with a light brown piece of paper. This is going to be our pancake. With your pencil, you're gonna make a big circle, as big as you can and as round as you can, but don't worry about it being perfectly round, because pancakes aren't perfectly round. Next, you may cut it out. Okay, save your scrap. We're gonna be using that again for our bacon. And I'm gonna flip over my pancakes so that way my pencil lines are at the back. Next, grab your dark piece of paper and we're gonna create some yummy syrup. This is how I make my syrup. I'm gonna lay my pancake on my paper just so I can kinda of get a gauge of how big it is. And then I'm gonna do a big big squiggle with some drips. It almost looks like a paint splat. Just like this, okay? And then I'm going to cut it out. Okay, once again, keep your brown paper. We're gonna be using that for our bacon strips coming up. So put that aside and flip over your syrup so that way you don't see those pencil lines, okay? Next, what we're gonna do is you have a small piece of yellow paper. You don't need much yellow for this. In fact, I just cut a little bit of the corner off to make a square. That's gonna be my butter. If you want it to be more realistic looking, you can cut off the corners so it's not round. Excellent, there is my butter. I'm going to glue these on my plate, starting with the big pancake. And this is a very, very big pancake, and my plate is really, really small. But you know what, boys and girls, that is okay. This is art, and my other foods can overlap my pancake. I'm one of those people I don't mind, usually, if my food is touching another different kind of food. Whoop, come here, pancake. There we go. Now, I didn't put glue where my pancake is gonna be hanging off my plate, right over here. And then I'm going to add glue to my syrup. There we go, I'm going to flip over now my syrup and paste it on. I'm gonna look for a nice good spot right about there and press it down. Don't forget your butter, butter's good and your butter. You better not forget. <laughs> okay, you can put your butter right there. And then what we're gonna do to our pancake and our syrup, mainly the syrup though, what I do is I take a white crayon or you could use colored pencil and I'm gonna add some shine marks. So just little streaks on my syrup. This makes it look way more real because syrup is shiny in real life. So I'm just gonna go and add a little bit every so often, okay, just like that. If you wanna add a little shine to your butter, I'm gonna add just a little white, make it look a little shiny as well, okay? I'm going to add just a little bit around the edge of my pancakes just to make it really stand out. There we go. Alrighty, let's move on to eggs. For your eggs, I'm going to move my plate up now. 
And make sure you keep that glue stick covered, boys and girls. We want that baby to last. For your eggs, again, you can always look back at your plate. You don't want to make it super big. But you also don't want to make it super tiny. You want a lot of food on this plate. So, for my eggs, you're just going to make, it's kind of going to be like the syrup, a little bit of a splat, but not too much. Take it back, okay? Just a little bit of wavy, just like that, okay? And I'm going to do two eggs right away, so I'm going to do two shapes. Don't be goofy and draw your shapes for your eggs in the middle of the paper. Go to the side, because you can use the white paper for other things, okay? And you may cut it out. Okay, flipped over so you can't see my pen marks. Save the paper, people. That's what we're doing this time. Usually every time if you're joining me. But put it off to the side. Here are my eggs. Oh, those are going to look so good. I'm thinking about where I want to place them. Maybe just like that. Ooh, that looks good. Bring that yellow paper on back. And what you're going to do is, again, we're referencing what we just did. And I'm going to draw some nice round circles that are gonna fit right here on your egg. Now you don't want your egg, like your yellow yolk of your egg, super, super big, that'd be very silly. But you also don't want it super tiny, you gotta have some yolk in your egg, you know what I'm saying? All right, so I'm gonna cut these out. Put your paper aside, and these are what my eggs are gonna look like. Now I gotta glue these down first, so I'm gonna put my yolks on. Little bit of glue, little bit of glue right there and don't worry about it being in the center you can have your yolk a little bit off to the side too oh yeah and I'm gonna flip over my egg now and I'll a little bit of glue I'm gonna add my egg so it goes right there on my plate and my second egg excellent I'm going to put my egg right there so it still fits now we're still gonna add a little bit of texture and personalization to our egg by taking, again, that white crayon. I'm going to add a really nice reflection circle. So like a half circle, I don't know if you can kind of see it right there. And then same on the other side. Oop. This is going to make the egg look kind of shiny as it normally is. There we go. Okay, last but not least, if you're still with me, we have our bacon. Our bacon, we're gonna bring back these scraps that we used for our pancake. The, this is what's awesome about this. We're kind of using the same tones, but we're gonna change the paper color by adding color with crayon, okay? So what you're gonna do next is, I like to cut off, see I got all this floppy extra stuff. Let's give her a little rip and take it off because that's just a little bit of annoying. There we go, here is my scraps. So we don't want our bacon super, super big, because that might be a little silly, but if you want to make it big, all right, I'm not going to stop you. So I'm going to turn my paper so it's going this way, and I'm just going to take it right with my scissors, but if it helps for you to draw, we're going to draw a nice wiggly line like this. Okay, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And then we're going to do another wiggly line right next to that one. I'm going to cut it off just like this. That's a pretty good bacon size. Let's do one more. You can make your bacon bigger or narrower depending on what kind of bacon you want. There's my other piece of bacon, okay? And before you get too excited, y'all, we gotta actually like cook the bacon here. So what we do first is I have a red crayon. And I'm just going to hold my bacon down my paper and I'm gonna add just really lightly some red to it. This is gonna make it look more real but also look like we cooked it and give it at the same time, some nice mini bumpy texture. There we go. And then I'm gonna go over it with a brown crayon. That way it doesn't look so red, but it adds like a really cool brown that's different from our pancake. Whoop. Make sure you're holding that bacon strip nice and down. There we go. Did you guys notice how I'm holding it down? Whoop, I gotta get a good grip on it first. But one thumb and one finger and kind of pull that paper out. There is our bacon strip. So you can see how much better they look already. Let's make our bacon look a little bit more real, okay? Next, what we're gonna do is glue these down and then we can always add the different shades of bacon and tones to it. So that way, once it's down, you have a better idea. So I'm gonna put this right here and this is okay if your foods overlap. Once again, I'm having my bacon overlap my eggs personally because I like a little, I like bacon a little bit more. So that's how I can express that in my art. I'm gonna put the bacon right next to it, right there. Oh yeah. 
Okay, we're gonna bring back that light piece of paper now, that brown we had, and this time, you can just cut some smaller strips in wavy lines. So I'll show you here, I'm cutting it, just little wavy lines, little strips of paper. They get kinda skinny, so be careful not to lose them, and they're gonna lay over the top of that, just like that. Oh, that looks, it's getting more real, it looks so good. Awesome, awesome. I'm gonna do a couple more little strips for my bacon. There we go, and I, these are really teeny tiny, but I can add some right here, and maybe up there, this one. If you want, artists, you can add a little bit of white strips to your bacon as well. Don't let me stop you. Make it look super awesome. I'm gonna do one more little white strip to my bacon. There we go. And voila. Now I'm going to glue these down and then we'll come back and see how it looks when it's all done. Just a little pro tip, if you have any of those extra scraps, I'll show you on this white piece of paper, you can put that down and then glue over your construction paper. That way you're not getting glue on the table. Okay, here is our bacon and eggs and everything. If you wanna just add any more details with white crayon, you're more than welcome to. I'm just gonna do a little bit of a highlight on the bacon, make it look a little bit more reflection. There we go. That is our bacon, pancakes and syrup, and eggs. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a great day.